It'll feature on some of the Team GB merchandise at this summer's uh, Olympics. And apparently it's a way to refresh the traditional color palette, but it's prompted a backlash to say the least, with critics saying it's defacing our national symbol of unity. Even number 10's got involved with Prime Minister, the Prime Minister warning that sports kit manufacturers shouldn't mess with national flags. The British Olympic Association has said it'll stick the traditional flag on its kit, but this new version will still be on sale to the public. So what do you think, Carol? Do you think it's a lovely design? No, I, I don't. No, well, it might be a nice design, but it's not the British flag. You know, the British flag is an, an emblem that's instantly recognised all over the world. Why would you want to mock with that? Now, I know, and, you know, I read that the, the Olympic Association feels that the union flag would bore young people. Well, tough if they're bored. Tough if they're bored. They've obviously never fought under it, most of them. But, you know, it feels like certain people and certain institutions are trying to stamp out Britishness. I think there's, there's a lot of people in, in younger generations think that to be patriotic yeah. about your flag or your country is to be racist, it's to be creepy, it's to be weird. So it do isn't. you make the point that this is a, a, a new thing, in effect? Yes. You know? I mean, yes. I, I think you will find, probably with your callers, yeah. you know, if anyone who's 40 or over is in favour of the flag, anyone who's younger is not. Well, just to correct you, look, people have tried to rebrand uh, the British flag uh, in a number of instances. In fact, it, it happened uh, around 20 years ago. You remember the tail fins of British Airways were, were yes. redesigned. Um, and uh, Margaret Thatcher had something to say about that. Just, just, just have a look at this. She arrived, they'd spent fortunes on the rebranding. This was her view of it. <laughs> you do. Good girl. She's covered it up. Good She's girl. It up. Ridiculous. And now we're going to go to calls in a second. But the point I'm making, Daryl, is that um, this idea of trying to mix it up isn't a kind of woke discussion. It's the art. Just, perhaps it's art. It's this is this is this is a deeply this is a deeply weird conversation that we've been having for the last couple of weeks, isn't it? About this, and I think I think it sort of speaks to maybe a bit of a, a fragility in our sense of identity at the moment. One of the reasons, by the way, that people feel a disassociation with the flag is because, particularly the flag of Saint George, has been hijacked by far right racists. It's my view we have to reclaim that. But this is not new. This has happened. The Conservative Party logo yeah. is a reworking of the Union flag. I mean, this is this isn't new. It's happened all over the place. It it's got all the colours in it, but I have to say, I mean, we have got an explosive buffet of opinion across the country. Um, Shelley, you're up in the home of, I've been told, common sense uh, at Newcastle. Uh, Shelley, <laughs> what, what do you make of it? Do, do you love it? I think it's disgusting. First, they've changed the St George Cross on the football kit. Now, that, now they've done this, and I read the article, they were trying to say, in the article, this is what they said, Red, white and blue, not original, as France and America got it. I've not seen them change the French or the American that would be hell on. Why is it the English flags again that are getting messed with? They changed the hot cross bun with a tick. Exactly. Yeah. I feel like they're trying to take our identity away in this country and it's absolutely disgraceful. Shelley, well, Shelley's right, you know, she said, Shelley, you're right, you said there'd be hell on if they, if they, when people mess with the flag. If you mess with the American flag, you can be put in jail for 12 months and you can be fined thousands that, of dollars. Sorry, I've got to correct you. That, 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 that's actually uh, not right, you know. It is so right. You've got a constitutional right to deface the flag. It's a 1989 what? case. I, I, I teach about it. The case is called Texas versus Johnson. And and the most right wing uh, of the justices, Justice Scalia, uh, uh, signed on to that judgment. And what he says, it's poignant but fundamental that the flag protects those who hold it in contempt. So, you know, you're I wrong. read last week you can get up to 12 months in America. Well, good luck bringing face, that case to court because it, you've got a, a, a First Amendment constitutional right. We're not going to get uh, bogged down later. in the law. Let's hear from Janine uh, in Birmingham. Um, you've heard what's been said. It's an absolute disgrace. Or, or is it a work of art which, frankly, uh, looks nice on a jacket? Do you know, it's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Our flag is so boring. Oh, Janine. <laughs> And all, look, I'm 67, I'll be 68 this year. Right. The flag on Buckingham Palace still flies, they haven't changed that. <laughs> the flag is still our flag. Right. Look, look at our national anthem. How boring is that? <laughs> I've watched the Queen 
when they're singing the national anthem and she looks bored out of her brain. Well, she did the late Queen has passed, but uh, I feel it's like... Uh, this is, that's just so insulting, actually, to say that our, no, our emblem is boring. Flag. It's boring, it is. Why? Tell me why it's boring. Yeah, and while you're at it, what would you replace it with? Some blue. What would you replace it with? Any, have, you, have you got any ideas? Yeah. Perhaps a nice... Well, go on. Something with a dog or a cat or a horse. <laughs> oh, really? That's just <laughs> that's a great idea. idea. <laughs> oh, Janine, I don't know. I, you know, when you're from Burma, you can say anything and it just sounds lovely and persuasive. <laughs> um, I, I wonder what dog or cat you're going to put on it. Susan, you're in Lincolnshire. Uh, uh, do you want to replace the red, white and blue, uh, which people fought for with uh, a sweet pug? Uh, well, to start with, I'd like to change Janine's uh, opinions, but uh, I can't. <laughs> so I'm absolutely disgusted. It's disgraceful. It's our flag. We want it. We've had it all these blooming years. What a what a disgrace! But Susan, what Susan, a but disgrace. Susan it's been it's been changed and altered and played with since the dawn of time. This is what we've done as human beings. Everyone knows that's the British flag. We, we make flag. Our, I know there they do. No, and, 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 me. Oh, no, excuse me. I, I'm, I mean, I'll soon be 81, and it's always it's not been changed while I've been alive. Susan, of course it has. What are you talking about? God. Throughout, 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 uh, uh, Susan, throughout your lifetime, there have been variations on this flag. Not necessarily, if you, if you went to sea no, you, and you, you went you're to you're war, just young. you would You don't understand. It's, no, it's no, our heritage minute, sorry, Susan, no, it. sorry, no, listen, Susan, I didn't patronise you. Please don't patronise me. If you go out to war <laughs> and you go to see a military vessel, you will see that. It'll be referred to as the Union Jack at that point. But when it comes to things like sports attire or branding for products or indeed the logos of political parties, parties it's been done since the dawn of time there is absolutely oh, nothing I, new about this Susan, but, Susan let me ask you God Susan let me ask you does it make you feel talking about the flag no, they, 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 Susan does it make you feel a little bit more comfortable to know that uh, when our team uh, walk out in the opening ceremony they are going to be waving the traditional uh, Union Jack this is just a design really I think so I should think they are for God's sake! It, it, there's nothing wrong with being proud of of the of the British flag. There's nothing wrong with that, and yet we're we're made to feel now that it's what well, old-fashioned old hat doesn't fit with modern values. No. Why? No, well, not. Susan, it's it's nobody's saying but that. Paul, you're in Greater Manchester. You know, Susan has very very strong opinions about this. Says you know you don't mess with a national symbol, which you know represents a, a, a united symbol for for everybody. Exactly. And what you're talking about in America, uh, you may have had the law wrong but what you're right about is that you know in they love uh, their in flag. countries where especially in America there's no national religion mm. you unite about uh, around something and symbols matter uh, yeah. and the British flag perhaps is an example of that Paul in Greater Manchester what do you think um well I, do, I think our flag doesn't look um it's not a nice flag and I think this one actually looks nicer but I think the the complaints about this there's more to it than just a flag because it's been pointed out in the past that but was it Boris Johnson or the Conservative Party made it all blue or at one point the and Tory were, party this... the Tory party logo is a play on the flag it is a redesign of the flag it's yeah. not a flag so though. they've the, a flag. well they've done this stop, stop. they've done this in the past but I actually think there's more to this. And um, I'm a member of the LGBT community. I live in a red wall area of the country. People forget that LGBT people actually live in red wall areas. But anyway, and I think because these colours lend themselves to the LGBT community, and in particular the trans community, that's partly what all the fuss is about. And also, I with all what's going... I'm going to sort of talk because there's so many calls on this and, and this important point you make. I want to get to as many people as possible. I'm grateful you've made that point. You know, um, they've gone out of their way, the Olympic Association. It wasn't like the Nike thing where there was a suggestion, an inference that they were nodding perhaps to uh, diverse communities. But it does strike me that you're right, that the fear uh, around the change of the colours here is that somehow uh, this is a, a nod to the LGBTQ community and that's what this is really about rather than people being that troubled about the design. Do, do, is that your instinct as well? I feel that this is an, yet another dig at the LGBT community and also 
when when we've got a government at the minute wanting to criminalise homeless people, why are people up in arms about a flag? If only people were more in up in, arm, up in arms about all the things that really matter in this country, it might be a better country. Well, you put that very, very well. But national symbols uh, matters, as matter, as do, you know, proper investment in the way that you're talking about. Thanks, Paul. Sylvia, I've got to get to you. You're down in Portsmouth the home of yes. uh, the British Navy. I can imagine you've got strong views about that national I am symbol. very strong. My what do you son, think? Yep. My son and my husband and my father and my, great, my grandfather fought under that farm flag with pride. We are British. We need our flags to show our strength. They're taking too much away from us. No, they're not, Sylvia. I, I Nobody, Sylvia, they're, Sylvia, they're, no, no, sorry, Carol, no, sorry, Carol, this, this, this one isn't for you, this one's for me. Sylvia, nobody is taking your flag away. Nobody is going to take it off a warship. Nobody is eroding what it is to be British. No, 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 they're no, no, changing no, Sylvia, it. No, Sylvia, they, yeah, no, but they, they're, Sylvia, they're doing something that they have done since the dawn of time, and they are adapting something, they're playing with something. That isn't... Well, then don't play with it. That, that isn't, it. Sylvia, well, that, 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 that isn't... Let me bring Carol to the I'm going to stop you from talking. Let me tell you, I've done that for a while. Sylvia... Um, it makes a point. You know, a lot of people feel very strongly. Yes. Sylvia's family died under that flag. I yes. hear what you say, Dar. Can you understand why people have such well, strong feelings? Well, I said them? earlier, people under 40 don't care about it. People over 40 will know someone, have relatives, have parents, grandparents who fought in the war. And for them, they fought and died under that flag. Right. So people like Sylvia, I completely understand why right. you think like you think. Well, strong feelings right all around. I'm going to thank you, uh, Sylvia, and also thank you, as we should do, to all of our servicemen and women for you your family's uh, service in our armed forces.